Um, so our game is based on AR, lar AR larvae that are trying to regain human culture by exploring the uh, buildings in Edinburgh and collecting art on the way. So you start by moving each, each piece. Yeah. Each turn, um, a player can move one square. Um, the square that they move into um, determines how many cards to draw. And each card represents a piece of artwork, a piece of real artwork. Um, it has a value um, as art. Um, it, it has a type. Um, different sculpture. types of art um, have different general properties. Um, like a sculpture, uh, a sculpture, manuscript, or painting, for example. Mm -hmm. And and each piece of artwork has a sacrifice effect. Um, so it, it's a player's decision whether to keep the art um, for its value or to sacrifice the card and employ a sacrifice effect. These sacrifice effects either um, affect art values, for instance, um, decreasing or increasing the value of a certain type of artwork, um, or um, affect movement, either your own movement or somebody else's movement. Um, um, the way you win is by having the greatest art value. Um, so there's a trade-off there. You, you can go for the highest amounts of art value, or you can employ your sacrifices um, in order to increase your chances of doing that or to decrease the mind's chances. So you could end up collecting like three or four pieces of art that are very high value, but your opponent could collect uh, three or four pieces of art and by the end we use one of their cards or sacrifice one of their cards to get rid of everyone's art board except for one and they might end up winning so it's kind of an interesting mechanic to reset the board game and what else and game ends after five turns so after five turns is you tally up how many uh, uh how many art art pieces you have and how much their value is and the, the person with the most wins. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant.